our lesson today is basically an extension of yesterday. Because yesterday we learned about A, which is in front of the parentheses in <coughs> vertex form, graphing a quadratic. <coughs> we just made up a, I don't know, memory mnemonic device for if there's a fraction in front of the parentheses, it's fat. Fraction fat. If there's a number, like a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, or 7, then it will tend to be a skinnier parabola. So, today we're going to use this information, and I'm going to give you graphs, and you have to completely find everything. The vertex and the A. So, we're going to learn how to find the A today in vertex form. So, your steps are here, number one and number two. We're going to first write the vertex. We always do that. When you're given a graph, write down what the <coughs> vertex is. And then, on number two, we have to plug in a point. So remember, your graphs are not going to be the same as my screen, so you need to do what's on my screen. Okay, so let's start with that. There's a lot of plugging in today, you'll see. Okay, first one does not look like your paper. So, um, just put like a big X through your graph. Um, now you're just going to have to look at my graph to help you. So the first thing you need to tell me is what is the vertex of my graph? So negative, negative. negative. Okay. So that means that I know this. I know x, what is it? Plus 2. Plus two. Minus 1. I don't have the number in front of it. So here's what we need to do. We need to we need to find A by solving for A, which means I need to plug something in for X and Y so that A is all alone. So I'm going to put A where it goes, right in front of the parentheses. And what... Can you please pick an ordered pair that crosses at a perfect, perfect intersection corner. Negative 1, negative 5. Okay. So I had to do that just so you could see it. Woo! Okay, here we go. I'm going to plug in negative 1, negative 5, 4, x, and y. Okay, so I'm going to put y equals, nope, I'm going to put negative 5 equals a. I don't know a, that's what I'm solving for. So a stays a, because that's our goal, to find a. Parentheses, x plus 2. Uh, with me. Negative 1 plus 2 squared minus 1. Okay. This is 1 squared, and do we, 1 squared is 1. Do we need to write a 1a? I don't want to. I don't, I don't think you should write 1s unnecessarily. So this just is going to be a minus 1. And solve for a. So I have this information, and I have this information, so the red circles can now be merged, and I will write in y equals a, negative 4, and then the rest of my vertex form. Sorry, I'm standing in front of you. Your job today, your lesson is to find the number that tells us how skinny or fat our graph's going to be. All right, moving on to the next one. It is the same as yours. Okay. I <coughs> need the vertex always first. Negative one. Hold on, take a, go on mute for a little bit. 
Okay, negative one four sounds good. And you can go on mute too. I don't know A, but I can do X plus one squared plus four. Okay, pick any point. Do you need to, I mean, you guys can see it. Zero comma three, that's good because it is, has a zero in it, yay. Okay. Y three equals A, I don't know, X zero plus one squared plus four. Three equals a times one squared plus four. Well, again, one squared. Uh, three equals a plus four. This is downward facing, so tell me what's gonna for sure happen. It's gonna be a negative. It's gonna be a negative equation. Minus four both sides. <coughs> a equals negative one. I can now write my final equation. Okay. Someone tell me what to write. Yes. So is this easy? Hard? What? The color's too light. The color's too light? Oh, whoa. But I like this color. <coughs> That's okay. Dark. All right. This is different. Yes, this is different. Okay. So... Real quick, tell me what the vertex is. Negative three, negative five. Okay, so go ahead and go go forward on your own as much as you can without my help. Uh, negative three, negative five, guys. I thought I heard someone say negative four. So just so you know, it's not negative four. Sweet. I want to pick, gosh. You're on mute, my darling. But what? Nick? Negative five comma negative, negative four. four. Okay, we could do that. Okay, y negative four equals a. I don't know. X negative five plus three squared minus five. So. Negative 2 squared minus 5. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Okay, I got to tell you something. Do not do 4 minus 5. <coughs> Somebody will be tempted to do it. Really and truly, this should be 4A. Okay? So just use caution when you... One equals four a. Oh, now what? You're on mute too. You guys got to remember this. I don't want to hear the same people. How many times have I said those exact sentences to you this year? 
Like, <laughs> it's annoying. I tell you so much. 68. 60. 60. 60. 60. Yeah. 60. 60. All right, here we go. Y equals 1 fourth X plus 3 squared minus 5. And it's so fat because it's fraction, fat fraction. Okay. Yes, I took it out to record so that I, you know, didn't sound weird. Okay, 4 is, let me expand it because this is kind of a weird one. So write down the vertex. I think it's different on your paper. Oh, it's the same. Great. Okay. So on uh, last period, like the first three answers were the A was 1. And so that just wasn't going to work for me. So I had to change it. And here we go. Write the vertex down. And just go. Don't even watch the screen. Do it on your own. All right. So there is your work and answer for number four. And that is it. We're not doing any homework tonight. This is so easy that it's like, I just need to show you how, and then we'll, we're done. So that's pretty great, right?